All right, first open up a BNB chart and select the 15 minute time frame. Now on the indicator search box, search for pivot point super trend and add that indicator to your chart. The pivot point super trend indicator will serve as the signal generator for this strategy. They will tell us when to enter and exit trades. So head over to the indicator settings and first change the pivot point period to 7. Using a higher period will smooth out the indicator line reducing some of the random fluctuations. Next we'll raise the ATR factor to 4. Adjusting this parameter can also help refine the signals. Now with those changes, we we'll look for buy signals where the indicator line turns from red to green and crosses below the candlesticks. That indicates the indicator is generating a potential long entry signal, so you can place a buy order. Now for the sell signal, we're we'll watching for the opposite. When the indicator line changes from green to red and crosses above the candles, signaling a potential short signal where we can enter a sell order. And in the next step of the strategy, we'll add a second indicator to the chart. But before that, I want to let you know that if you don't have enough time to trade or even lack of knowledge to trade but want to profit from trading i recommend registering with our copy trading system to profit from trading without a single click if you'd like to try out this free copy trading system you can sign up through the link in the description below this video okay the next indicator will add to the charts called witness dha This indicator will help us filter out weak signals during periods when the market is consolidating. The weakness DHA indicator will be a useful addition to help make our signals more reliable. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is adjust the settings for the weakness DHA indicator. So we'll change two parameters. Fast speed will be set to 21 and a slow P will go up to 90. Then we'll make the style adjustments shown in the video. With those settings, the indicator will now confirm signals in two ways. If the histogram is below the zero line and black in color, that means the indicator is confirming a sell signal from our super trend indicator. And vice versa, if the histogram is above the zero line and white in color, that's confirming a buy signal. For example, in this case, the super trend gives us a buy signal. Then the weakness DHA histogram turns white and raises above the the zero line confirming the buy signal so we can confidently enter a buy trade knowing both indicators agree in the next example super trend issues a sell signal that the weakness dha indicator also confirms by turning black and falling below the zero line again we can take the trade with both indicators in alignment But in the last example, super trend issues a sell signal that weakness DHA indicator does not confirm. The histogram stays wide and above the zero line. By filtering out that unconfirmed signal, weakness DHA indicator protected us from a potentially losing trade. Okay, for the next indicator, we'll add the simple moving average indicator to the strategy. This indicator will help us identify the overall trend of the market in this strategy. But before using this trend indicator, we need to change the length setting to 180. This higher period will give the moving average a longer term perspective, filtering out some of the short term price fluctuations. We'll use the moving average as a filter to confirm the signals from other indicators. When price is above the moving average, that indicates an uptrend. And when price is below the moving average, that suggests us a downtrend. So we only take trades that are in the direction of the current trend as identified by the moving average. This can help improve the performance of the strategy by trading with the trend rather than against it. So here are the rules to enter trades. To enter line trades, 
all three of the following conditions must be met. The pivot point super trend indicator must issue the buy signal, meaning the indicator line turns green and crosses below the candlesticks. And the weakness DHA indicator must confirm the buy signal with a white histogram below the zero line. And next, the simple moving average indicator set at 100 period should suggest an overall uptrend with the price rising above the moving average line. And only when all three conditions are met, a buy signal from the first indicator confirmation from the second indicator, an uptrend identified by the moving average, we will enter a long trade. This helps ensure we only take high probability trades that are in line with the larger trend. And to manage your risk, place the stop loss below the super trend line. This will limit your maximum loss per trade. And finally, to exit the trade at a reasonable profit, take profit when your risk to reward ratio reaches 1 to 1 and a half. In other words, exit the trade when you've made 50% more than your maximum risk per trade. The approach for short trades mirrored the one for long trades. We're looking out for three things. A sell signal from our first indicator. That means the line turns red and crosses below the candlesticks. Confirmation from the second indicator in form of a black histogram that falls below the zero line. And the moving average set at 100 periods, indicating an overall downtrend, but price below the moving average line. will only take short position when all three conditions are met. Now you can enter position at the signal candle close price. For managing risk on short trades, we'll place the stop loss order above the super trend line. This limits how much we can lose on each position. And to exit the trade and release our gains, we'll take profit when the risk reward ratio hits 1 to 1.5. One In other words, we'll close the position once we've made 50 percent more than our maximum risk per trade and in the end if making money with a free copy trading system is what you're after you can register through the link below and get started